Hey, we're the Morses, an ordinary family of six who went from the burbs to the back roads to a boat. Life was going by way too fast, so we set out with a simple goal, to make more moments, more memories, more Saturdays. We'd love to have you join us for the adventure. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. After we got back from RVing around the country for a year, we moved into Amber's parents' house and then put the kids back in school and we immediately shifted our attention to Operation Let's Go Sailing. And as you might imagine, there was a ton of logistics to work through to make it all happen. When we originally left to go RVing, the plan was just to be gone for about a year or so and then move back into our house. So we just rented it out while we were gone. But it turns out that sailing catamarans are just a wee bit more expensive than RVs, so we needed that equity. But the thing about these massive life decisions that we make is that you never really can fully prepare yourself for the emotions involved. Like when we walk back into the house for the very first time. You ready to go in the house? Yeah, it's been a while. And I still think, I still really like it. What? Do you recognize our house? Oh my gosh, Cohen's going right upstairs. <laughs> Do you remember where to go? Yeah. Where's your room? Whose room is this? Mine. Where did you go in there? Where did Daddy used to rock you at? Oh. The fact that I got away with like keeping so many of our games and stuff in here. So we we rented this out furnished, and we also all the people that rented it didn't use all the rooms, so we were able to store a bunch of stuff in Hudson's room. After a look around and a meeting with our realtor, we sit down to kind of process through some of those emotions with you. How you feeling? Our realtor just left, and now we're just in the yeah. house. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get all emotional. It's just hard. Um, I mean, it's just it's just things. It's not. It's not like our hearts are attached to this house. We walked in. And I'm like, oh, I, I kind of started having second thoughts. But I, you know, we're gonna be looking back at this, thinking like when we're some crazy awesome place in the world, realizing that, oh my gosh, we did it and we're here and we've, like, look where we are. Yeah. Standing on our boat somewhere, incredible. Yeah. And, and realizing like, whoa. And we can't get there unless we let go of here. Um, and so that's just gonna be something that is gonna take me some time. Yeah. And um, honestly, letting go of the feeling that you have a home. This home has provided our family like it was such an awesome home for our family. So to think of letting it go, like what if we let it go and then we don't ever get something um, like that we love and that fits our family like this in the future. And I think that I just have to remember like that's all fear. Yeah. It's just hard. It's hard to let go. I think that um, there's just a grieving process and it's gonna be okay, but there's yeah. some a lot of emotions in it for me. Yeah. We're thankful that you guys have been with us along the journey so far, and we're committed to take yeah. you along with us and even show you the hard stuff, you know, like right here. And, um, but we're, we're pumped for what's ahead, and I think it's gonna be quite the adventure. So thank you guys for the love, the support, and, and just that you've shown for us along the way. Absolutely, 100%, thank you. I then found myself back in Cohen's room, just processing through my own emotions, replaying in my mind what I used to do every single night, rocking my baby boy to sleep, realizing that my days of spoiling our fourth child by rocking him as long as he wants are over. And the sign that's above my head there, it's interesting, isn't it? With the journey that we're about to embark on, I think it's quite fitting. Well, now it was time to stop crying and hit that logistics list. The plan started coming together quite nicely. As you can see, we sold the house. We had a massive garage sale to get rid of pretty much everything. And you know what's kind of sad is we realized that we spent a lot of time and money acquiring all these things that are really only worth a few bucks in the end. So we just had a very successful garage sale. It was really successful because we got rid of a lot of stuff. We got rid of so much stuff, but we still have so much stuff left. And I want to show you guys one thing that it's interesting. There's one thing that didn't sell. Just one thing that you may remember from maybe one of our first or second episodes. It didn't sell. And remember this caused an argument? Yeah, the fishbowl. The fishbowl is still here. I still can't get rid of it. Like, I, it's right here, guys, from one of our very first episodes. Yep. You know, you know what else is still here? And it's actually still in the wrapping, still in the packaging. 
The ironing board. Oh. So basically, guys, all the things that I said we didn't need or we should have gotten rid of, we still have them and we don't need them. Because you're not, she, you, you're not always right. Though. Because you're she's a hoarder. Because right. she's a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. You guys, I'm a new family. I'm a newfound minimalist, okay? Yep. I am a redeemed hoarder and now I'm a minimalist. Look at me. Yeah, we got, look at, so all these tables were packed full. Everything's gone except for all this stuff that we are now loading into that trailer to take to a uh, nonprofit place. So that's what we're doing. It was good. It feels good to get rid of all this stuff. The time came to sell our RV and we ended up selling it to this really awesome family. These are the new owners of the MGM. Hey guys. Look at this. <laughs> we got Megan and Jared, another family of six, which is so cool. Yeah. Really cool. And it's two girls, two boys, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Two girls, two boys. That's awesome. Uh, so are you guys excited? Um, so fun. So, Are you going to miss it. your trailer or not? I am going to miss it. I feel like it. I'm no. taking a part of your I family. Know, I'm it's it's terrible. Terrible. You're just no, you're part of the family. Yeah. You're part of it, yeah. Yeah, you're extending the legacy. Uh, so. Okay, well, we'll, we'll watch them drive away with our, our, our house. And we'll keep the <laughs> memories going. Yes, yes. That's yes. right. <laughs> hey, be good to the old gal. Oh, yeah, woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there goes the MGM. It is leaving, not attached to my truck. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. There she goes. She's taking the Traeger too. <laughs> They're taking the Traeger. And just like that, we're now homeless, RV less, pretty much everything less. And I know that my often overly sentimental wife is in need of a break, so I find her a surprise. Well, guys, it's late at night. I'm in Star, Idaho. It's like probably 10 o'clock now, and I just made a big purchase without Amber really knowing that I was going to do it. I don't know how excited she's going to be about this, but it's, it's the best thing for our family, and I think it's really going to help us when it comes time to uh, you know, get down to Florida and all of that. So we're trading in the big diesel, guys. It's time to put the Cummins away. We don't need it anymore. We're not pulling a trailer anymore. So what are we getting? Let me show you. A 2005 Honda Odyssey. EXL, guys, EXL, it's got leather. Like, come on, leather seats? Check this thing out. Oh yeah, look at that. She's cherry, 137,000 miles. It's got a sunroof. It's got a DVD player. I mean, come on, what else do we need? This thing's taking us to Florida. It's gonna take us to Florida. It's gonna pull a little U-Haul uh, trailer. I gotta put a hitch on it. Look at that, there's no hitch there. Anyways, babe, Amber, I hope you're excited about your van. Yes, girl, van life. <laughs> it hasn't been a good day, but I, I know she's gonna be cheered up in a minute when I show her what I just bought her. What did Brandon buy me? <laughs> Literally 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock at night. We're driving down the road where I have this surprise waiting for her. So we're almost there and I just can't wait to show you. It's better put the biggest smile on my face right now. Make it better. Do you think it will? I think it will. And if it doesn't, babe, I'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're in a parking lot. I know. We're in the Ridley's grocery store parking lot. Babe, I want to show you what I bought you. And it's right there with the headlights on it. Look at that beauty. Stop it. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Honey, aren't you so thankful? I never wanted to Yes, you did. You loved your minivan. And this one happens to be gold. Oh, babe, you bought me a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> you bought me a minivan. <laughs> Honey, it's going to it's gonna take our family to the next destination. You know what? The good news is we don't care. Like, do you care? <laughs> do you legit care? I, I mean, you're forcing me not to. Well, I'm forcing her not to care. Guys, I don't care anymore. Like, I don't care what I drive. I don't care what I wear. I don't care how much it costs. It's humble pie. Yeah, eat it. Eat your <laughs> humble pie. Go get in your van. I'm not driving at home. You drive it. No, you drive that thing. <laughs> no, you need no, to learn. No, you're the one that bought it. You should drive the minivan. <laughs> no, you need to learn how to drive it. I mean, can you guys weigh in? Like, he bought the minivan. I think he should drive the minivan. What do you think? <laughs> Leather. Wow. DVD player. Wow, this is luxury. Lucky. I'm going to be big pimping in my gold minivan. Okay, the reality is the kids are going to be way more comfortable in this driving it to Florida than they were in the truck. So this is actually a major upgrade as long as it doesn't break down on us on our way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for part two of preparing to become a sailing family. Apparently you need to know how to sail before you move your family onto a boat in the ocean. So Brandon becomes crew on our friend's boat in an epic journey from New York to Florida.